Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. We won't vote for you in 2023, even if you congratulate Michael Jackson. Atiku deist on Twitter. We still won't vote for you in 2023, even if you congratulate Michael Jackson. The former vice president and presidential candidate of People's Democratic Party in 2019, Atiku Abubakar has been dazed on Twitter after he congratulated Davido for his new album. Atiku Abubakar, who is fond of felicitating with Nigerian music artists when they reach the new milestones in their career, was reminded by Twitter influencers not to expect vote in 2023 regardless. The Twitter influencers with the usual surname at Irania underscore took to the comment sections of the former vice president to drop the bombshell, which has gotten 715 likes and 125 retweets at the time of filing the report. Atiku Abubakar retweeted Davido's tweet of his album released and quoted its congratulations as the video for ushering in Ash a Better Time. Why at Irana underscore lashed out with his comment, we still won't vote for you in 2023. If you like, congratulate Michael Jackson. It's it's on record that Atiku Abubakar had been gunning for the top seat since 2011, but all to no avail. He has decamped from PDP to APC and back to PDP. Just stand a good chance of winning, but he allowed he always lost to his contenders. Speculations are rife. That the former vice president is still preparing for another chance in this coming election, but no official statement yet. Hmm. Wow, so viewers, what is your own take about this? What do you think about this? The reality is that uh, as far as Atiku is concerned, I don't think he can become the president of Nigeria. You know, for somebody that has been trying, 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 and is not uh, achieving it, I don't think that is possible for him. You know, why many people were saying that it's an heart of ignorance when a singular person ascribed we to himself, and most especially doing so on behalf of 250 million people. The Igbos, well, some people said that the Igbos will vote for him as usual because the Igbos don't like Fulani man to rule Nigeria again. So they will back Atiku and Igbo man from a very confused set of people. If Atiku shows face in 2023, hmm. If you like, some people, some people say, if you like, abuse me, wait and come concern me. When I go, they say Nigerian politicians are too old. But Biden is 78 years old. I still prefer Atiku to any youth. What of this month? What difference has he make? Where is it? Where is there? Is he there calling the youth children? We need young, vibrant candidates come 2023 to move Nigeria forward. We are tired of these old cargoes that we have in, the, in this country. What all these old cargoes that we have that are our president, what are they doing for us? What good impact are they doing for us? And that is what we have to sit down and think about. What are they doing for us? The reality is that definitely we know that President, uh, I mean, the former vice president, Atiku, as, uh, as was able to come out to, to f go for a uh, presidency and he couldn't win. The reality is that if he comes out again, definitely some people will still vote for him. Because of what he has, he, because of the ground that he laid down already. But the reality is that enough of all these old cargoes that we have in our con country. Now we have President Muhammad Dubuari. We have the President Muhammad Dubuari. But we cannot even say that this is our president. A president that cannot come out and address his people. Is he a real president? A president that, that gives a false, a false speech. Is he a real president? A president whereby something happened in the country and he cannot even stand out and speak and address his own people. That is not a president. It shows that the whole age has destroyed his life and his future. And that's just the meaning. He is not capable enough. He does not have the strength to, to address the people. That is not the kind of people that we want. We want a young vibrant that has the wisdom, that has the knowledge to lead the country forward positively. I'm telling you, there's somebody like Oshibaju should be Oshibaju is capable of doing such, but oh, they, they, in this present administration, they've turned Oshibaju to something else. 
that they made him realize that he is not he is he does not belong to anywhere anybody it does not even belong to where he is he's just a dormant vice president that is how they've turned Oshiba Ju to be he would have been the best person to become the president of Nigeria and he would have acted very well but the reality is that the people the Hausa people I don't think they will allow that to happen I don't think they will allow that. People were even saying that Shibado should succeed Buhari or APC should quiet, should quit. Governance is hard work. Oshibado has what it takes to become the president of this country. Why some people said the news is that no one will vote for a wicked man. He bought Nepa and his boys are very wicked. They always increase the bill. And when you don't pay whatever they print in your bill, they will take your wire away. He is a very bad man. The whole country is in darkness because he thought he bought the Nepa. Nobody will vote for him. The, the reality is that we are tired of all these old cargoes that we have in the country. I don't know about you, but we I am tired of all these old cargoes. The old cargoes that cannot even be, we, we don't we, we are not benefiting any good thing from them. We are not benefiting any good thing from them at all. People said that I can only vote a single man, a single old man, if contest for 2023. If not, I cast my vote a vibrant youth candidate. The old man is Oshibajo, and that is exactly what I'm saying. That, in fact, the only person that I think that can still can still control the country is still Oshibajo. Any other person in else is nothing but zero, except for the vibrant youth that we have in the country. You know, so if you ask, what do you think about this? What is your hunt? Can you drop your comment? Have the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. We appreciate you for always being there for us at all time. God bless you. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you, Hemi. Have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching our video. Bye. We love you all. We appreciate you for always being there for us at all time. God bless you.